All right, so if you'd had, if you had, fucking hell. Okay, so if you've had the uh, cylinder head off of your 94 to 97 VTEC Accord, uh, here's how you put it back together. And if you've had the head off for a head gasket issue, you should have taken it to a shop to get it resurfaced and pressure tested. Uh, this cost about 85 bucks. First, obviously, wipe everything off, clean it as best you can, and get some fresh clean oil, put it in the obvious spots. And also, on the cam. Of course, I put oil all on it, and on the valves. I just want to get some fresh oil on these before you put them in. And then you, you want to use liquid gasket on pretty much anywhere past this line. Not down in here, but up here and also on this side right there and there you don't really need that much just a really thin film because you don't want this squishing into the into anywhere else <clears throat> That's about all you need with the liquid gasket. And for reference, this is the intake side, that's the exhaust side. Of course, when you take your cam tower off of the head, Put the bolts back in so then everything doesn't fall apart. Or you can take a big wood clamp and just clamp the whole thing together. And it helps to zip tie these together. Otherwise, they move around independently and little uh, rollers come out. Another thing, if you have your uh, cam tower apart, meaning you basically have the cam off, all this is pretty loose. It's basically held together by nothing. And there's all kinds of springs and shit that push it all apart. So, when you're putting it back together, just use a uh, big wood clamp. And As you can see, it pushed it together a little bit. It's still too far apart. It's still too uh, apart. And these things basically just have to move them around 
until everything goes back together. Just keep putting a little more pressure on it. So I'm not sure where Honda's timing marks are, but I made my own marks on everything before I took it apart. So make sure you have marks, or at least know where Honda's marks are. You have to turn the bolts two turns at a time in the sequence. The torque for uh, a <clears throat> Torque these bolts to 16 foot pounds. These bolts get torqued to 108 inch pounds. You torque it in the same sequence that you tighten them in. Of course, if you had the intake manifold off, uh, you can just you definitely should put a new gasket on. It's like 16 bucks or something. All you do is stick it on over the studs and you can put this on. And before you put your new head gasket on, uh, get something like this and clean off the old uh, gasket material. So 
was nice and clean like that. Definitely want to buy brand name parts for, uh, for especially the head gasket and the new head bolts. Don't reuse your old head bolts. So once you have your head uh, set back on the car uh, and the uh, head bolts just finger tightened, uh, you need to torque the head bolts in a sequence similar to the uh, cam tower. Uh, you can find the sequence on the link that I'm going to post in the description. Um, and you torque it in three stages. First you tighten all the bolts to 29 foot-pounds on the first pass and then 51 foot-pounds on the second pass and finally torque everything to 72 foot-pounds following the procedure. Um, I didn't put the timing belt back on because I'm going to have a timing belt video about how to change it so I'm going to put a new one on. So after your head bolts are torqued, before you put your valve uh, cover back on, just pour some clean oil on top of the uh, valve train just to give it something to start with. So if you've put yours back on, you can then just put the uh, valve cover back on, hook everything else back up, put your fluids in and you should be good to go. Just make sure you have your timing all lined up properly before you uh, turn it on, obviously. I forgot to put the spark plug back, back, back in.
so it seems like the fuel relay was, I mean this car sat for like two years, so the fuel relay was probably just sticking, now it's working fine. Of course it's going to burn off all the greasy fingerprints and whatnot.